Hey, Staxies! Sorry, I'm so ridiculously goddamn late. What's going on? <laughs> How are you guys? Whew. Okay. I want to get some stuff done. I am on a roll of getting stuff done today, so we're going to work on commissions. I'm going to knock out a couple of these. Oh my god. <laughs> How's everybody doing? It's still currently 91 degrees in my house. Uh, I have the air conditioner on, so it's not that bad. But it is 90 degrees out, and it is 8.45 at night, so... Cool times. Great times. What's up? How's everybody- how's everybody Saturdays? The plan is commissions, and then we'll still play Jackbox. I just- I started a half hour later than I- 45 minutes later than I meant to. Um, that's the plan. Uh, I'll start with high as emotes, I guess, since I have all of those done for right now. And then, like, sketched, and then I will go on to, um something else <laughs> how are you guys how is how's your Saturday I'm gonna start this at okay and then I down you invited another friend hello new friend other friend of the original friend Yeah, we'll still we'll still play Jackbox tonight. I don't know what you guys want to do, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm still down for that. I just I lost track of time. I was changing the water in my fish tanks because it's time for that to happen, but like that just takes forever, and I just didn't realize what time it was. And then I had to stop and make dinner and, and all that. Hello, watery trash dragon. I like your username. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to the Axie Stack. How's it, how's it going? How are you doing this fine Saturday evening? Ren! Aha! Ren arrived. Just as you mentioned. Very good, awesome. Probably not stick around for too long since uh, it's like 4 a.m. here. Oh, geez, yeah. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Glad you stopped by for a little bit. I have a, there's a couple of you guys who come at like 3 or 4 a.m. your time and just like come in, say hello, and then roll out. So, that's fine by me. You guys are pretty cool. Oh, a lovely date. That's awesome. I'm trying to figure out how to be less of a wimp about relationship stuff. That's currently where I'm at. <laughs> This is Haya's piece, it is. Oh no, Lily, hi. What's going on? You're here. It's not world building, so you're fine. What's going on? Oh, my life is chaos. That kind of stuff can be tough. It's hard and I don't know how much you relate to this, but it, it's hard because sometimes you can't tell if they are of your particular persuasion. <laughs> And that's kind of where I'm stuck at right now. So if you guys have any advice on how to not be a wimp and ask out a girl who's potentially straight, let me know. Hit me up. <laughs> be my collective wingman <laughs> and women and wing other. <laughs> what art is it? It is um, mission artwork. I'm going to work on... Uh, here, I'll, I'll run through them for you guys real quick. I'm probably going to get to these because the, I don't think these emotes are going to take me that long. Um, it's gonna be, um, this, maybe a little coloring on this. I think I can get the coloring done on both of these tonight, too. And then, um, these two emote sets, um, can't see that one. But this is a facepalm emote for Haya. Haya wanted their own emotes, so. Just start screaming and that'll get you a date. Perfect. Well, luckily, I am very good at screaming. I love Bioware Games, Mass Effect, Dragon Age is the best, but it's old. Maybe watch it. Maybe, yeah, maybe watch the beginning of a Let's Play and just see if you like it. And if you feel like that might be something you'd want to do, then, you know, do it. And if not, that's cool too. 
Hang around Discord servers and friends group that are mostly the kind of person you're looking for. That works too. Just throw a pair of lady balls and ask her out for co grow a pair of lady balls and ask her out for coffee. No strings attached. Hit it off, maybe not. She well, we're kind of friends now, and I just can't figure out if it. I, you, I can borrow your lady balls. Awesome, that's perfect. God, I hope she doesn't watch my stream. That'd be super fucking awkward. <laughs> if you are watching my stream, hi, you're great, and I kind of accidentally developed a crush on you, and I'm sorry if it's awkward. <laughs> it sort of happened by accident, to be honest. Like, I was kind of in a position after I moved out to St. Louis where I was like, well, eh, you know, I, I'm kind of comfy. You know, I, I got a new job. I'm making some friends. I'm pretty happy right now. I don't think I need to go out and try to date anybody. And, you know, me and this girl became friends through work. And we were hanging out a little bit. You know, like, we'd go to the movies and stuff. And and that was kind of cool. And then one day, out of the blue, she asked me to go to the zoo with her. And it didn't seem like that big a deal at the time. But then it occurred to me that it happened almost immediately after um, I came out to her. And now I can't... My stupid brain, like, my brain went... That wasn't relevant. That had nothing to do with her asking you to go to the zoo with her. You guys just went to the zoo and you had fun and it was great. But my stupid lesbian half of my brain went, but was it a date? <laughs> you know, like, my, and I know it's so stupid to draw that conclusion and I know how dumb that sounds, but my brain was just like, that's logical. <laughs> so that happened. The zoo is a date. <laughs> the zoo is a date. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out. <laughs> great. <laughs> I would slap some sense into you and just ask her the fuck out. Oh, Jesus. So let me tell you guys a tangential story that has that is actually fairly related. But, um, and again, various people who may be watching my stream, I'm not mad about the following story. So there was a girl that I, that I met in college who was, I knew she was bisexual. And we hung out a lot, and she'd come over to my house, and she we did sleepovers, and we watched anime until like three in the morning. And every time we sat on my couch, she would rest her head on my shoulder, and we would just cuddle and watch anime. So I got the sense that maybe she liked me. And I kind of liked her. She was pretty cool, too. So one day, I grew some lady balls, and I said, hey, so I like you. <laughs> We've been hanging out a lot. Want to go out with me? And she said, and I quote, well, I like you, too, but... I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship, so I'll let you know. And we never talked about it again, but our relationship did not change. We continued cuddling, we continued holding hands when we were out, but we never confirmed whether or not we were dating, and eventually she got a boyfriend, and it was just like, oh yeah, I, oh, I got a new boyfriend. Like, so we weren't dating. It was, it was, so now I'm at a point where I'm like, so was the zoo a date, or was the zoo a friend who was kinda like dating me? I don't know. Go for the friendly cheek kiss. That's a good one. No tangents. Ask her out. You're like, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> or just straight up ask if she's gay. See, like, uh, is it just me? Or does that feel like a really weird personal thing to just be like, oh, by the way, are you gay? Because I don't know. That feels that feels weird to me. And maybe that's just me, potentially. Basher, what's up? I'm working on your emotes tonight. We're doing, I'm um, doing Haya's first because I already have Haya's all drawn out. I didn't draw the derp one for yours yet. I just didn't get to it, but uh, I'm working on that. So, um, so maybe I'll do it. Just state that you go to weird questions. Axie, are you gay? <laughs> hey, Axie, are you gay? I am. <laughs> but you already knew that. <laughs> Mostly because I just talk about it literally all the time. You guys can't escape the fact that I'm like the gayest person <laughs> because I just will bring it up at any point in time. Although apparently one of my coworkers thought she was gay, so maybe I should just suck it up and awkward. I can just back out of it. <laughs> I guess I'm always trying to find the loophole. Like, okay, if I ask her out and then she freaks out about it, I can just be like, oh, it was just a prank, bro. You know, like I always want a back door to get out of it. Just fucking do it, you lemon. Beautiful. Done. That's all the motivation I need. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys are so supportive of, of me and my anxiety. You're great. <laughs> Are you sure you are more gay than my friend, though? Also, I am the heckin' pan. Yeah, you are the heckin' pan. I just asked my boyfriend because I'm kind of inept with relationships sometimes, and he confirms that the zoo is 100% a date. Well, <laughs> I've been talking and working with you over four years, and you didn't know I was gay. Really? 
You didn't know that, yeah. I'm hella fucking gay. See, the thing is, is like, I'm, so I'm kind of a, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's a term for it, but I'm really good at blending in. And I kind of just keep my head down and don't bring it up. But as soon as you become like friends with me and or become somewhat close to me, I feel this need to make gay jokes all the time. Like, I was walking back from the pizza place on, I think it was Thursday, with one of my friends from work, with my supervisor. Like, she and I are sort of friends, so we went for lunch. And, because we knew the afternoon was but then it was. But we went to lunch, and on the way back, there were, like, three points in time where I had to catch myself, because I was about to make a really gay comment, and I was like, my supervisor can't know that I'm gay. <laughs> like, she doesn't need to know that. That's not a piece of information that she needs to have, you know? It's like, I had to, like, catch myself, though, like. Rick. <laughs> well, up until recently, I never knew. Hey, that's fair. You also don't know me in real life. Like, we, like we've been we've been working together for so long, and it's not something that usually comes up when we're talking about like, I don't know. When we talk about art stuff, it doesn't come up. But I think if you and I knew each other in real life, you would like if we had ever met in person, you would absolutely have guessed it. You would have you would have totally like had that hunch. This conversation's up to uh, an interest. This this stream went from, holy fuck, my life is madness, I cleaned everything, and now I'm super fucking late to the stream, to let's talk about how heckin' gay I am. <laughs> Ask her to the aquarium and wear flannel. Ah, uh, fun fact, I already wear quite a bit of flannel. <laughs> I'm surprised my coworkers have not figured out and or made sec- um, what, is there a term for that? Homophobic- not even, like, full homophobic, just, like, made weird comments about me, like- <laughs> my office is a really weird place. Just let's... My office is really fucking weird. <laughs> oh, watery trash dragon, thank you for the follow. You wear flannel and she asked you to the zoo. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it. I wish we... So, so, real talk, I wish we had an aquarium. So, for anybody who does not live in the Americas and or, and or just doesn't know anything about St. Louis, St. Louis has a... Uh, we have a huge zoo... It's ranked like the number one zoo in America, but we don't have an aquarium, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> really enjoyed the time though, Axolotl is a cute nerd. It's amazing. Aw, thank you so much. Hope you can come back sometime. I don't want to call you Trash Dragon, because that makes it sound like I'm mad at you or something. Like, So goodbye, Dragon. <laughs> see you later. I hope I'll see you around sometime. You could join the Discord. We do have a Discord. And then you could message us all the time. And then there's some... Then there's... Then then you've, in, you've entered the true chaos zone. I don't know why I'm putting so much detail into this, because it's literally going to be 28 pixels. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, I don't know why I'm, like, painstakingly, I'm actually really, con so, real talk, um, getting off that topic for just a second, because, I like, I want to finish my thought, but, um, <laughs> um, I'm really concerned about how that scar is going to look when I shrink this down. Like, that's why I didn't put any, dis like, like, there's a detail, like, right here, he's got a spot where his skin's missing, and so you can see his, his skeleton there, like, you can see his cheekbone. But, like, I'm afraid to put that in because I'm not sure how it's going to show up in, like, the actual, like, I guess the most common, I think the one they use the most often is the 76, I think, 56, 56, the 56 size. So, like, I don't, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Um, yeah, Axel Bottle's actually here tonight, so that's fun. <laughs> Steve, Steve pictures, gotta have more Steve pictures. But, so, anyways, yeah, so maybe I should do that. I know she mentioned, um... I wanted to go see Deadpool. We already go to the movies a lot together, but maybe... I gotta find a way to, like, awkwardly ask her out on a date. <laughs> I'm a weird person. When it's small, it might look better with just color and no outline. That's actually a good point. I think I'm gonna leave it with the outline for now, and then if it ends up being a problem, I'll get it. But... Alright. Next one. Oh. Oh, shoot. I put a lot of those lines on the wrong layer. I'm back. Rest in peace. <laughs> Add more pics of Steve. Um, if he would come out from under his log, I totally would. He's not very photogenic. It's really dark in that corner, which he likes that, but... I'll try to get more pics of him, though. You guys pretty much have all the good pictures of him.
Okay, so other things I'm awkward about. I'm really awkward about paying for other people's lunches, apparently. Because <laughs> one of my coworkers picked me up, like, pretty much every day two weeks ago because my car was in, uh, was, was getting fixed. And so she just picked me up on her way to work. And I was really appreciative. And I was like, do you want gas money or something? And she was like, worry about it. And I was like, okay, well, can I buy you lunch or something just to say, just to say thank you? And she said, okay, I'll, I'll let you buy me lunch. So when we went to lunch on Thursday... I, like, was ahead of her in line, just in general, and so I kind of leaned back and was like, my lunch is on you today, and she was like, she did that thing that everybody does where they're like, oh, you don't have to do that, you don't, it's okay, and I'm like, no, I really want to buy you lunch, because you were super nice to me, but I, I get really awkward when I try to give somebody a gift or something, and they're like, oh my god, you didn't have to do that, I'm like, I did have to do it, though, because I'm really bad with my words, <laughs> like, I, I show my affection for other people, through, like, my actions, some, usually. You guys, it's a little different because there's not very much option for that. Like, it's a lot of talking at you. But, like, for the most part, my, I show my affection through things that I do, and I like buying things for people and making things for people, and so I feel really awkward whenever people are like, oh my god, you totally didn't have to do that. And I'm like, but I did, though. <laughs> Just accept the gift. <laughs> it's the exact same way I, I react to compliments, so I can't, like, be mad about it. <laughs> I do the same thing when people compliment me. People are like, oh my god, your art's so nice. And I'm like, oh my god, you're so good. And <laughs> I don't know what to do. Totally will go for art. I'm awkward about give, giving gifts and getting gifts. Oh, you're awkward about getting gifts too, yeah. I mean, I guess I understand that too. I'm kind of awkward about getting gifts. So like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm always afraid saying thank you isn't enough. If that makes sense. Like, somebody gets me a gift and I just want to be like, oh my god, you're great. <laughs> but I'm so bad at words. Go for the gift and run tactic. Uh, actually, Tested gave me that advice. Uh, Tested was like, you should buy her something, like chocolates, and put it on her desk um, before you leave for the vacation, before before you leave for like Memorial Day break, so that when she comes back, like first thing in the morning, there's a gift from you on her desk. And I was totally going to do it. And then Friday was like nightmare land. So I didn't actually get to leave during lunch to go do that. And I ended up spending all of my lunch break working on work stuff because we're behind or whatever. So gift and run. Gift and run's pretty good. Anyways. <laughs> so that's my life right now. I am the most awkward. <laughs> pretty much. That's that story. I don't know how I ended up on Twitch. Somewhere in my thought process, I was like, yeah, I could totally be a Twitch streamer. I totally want to do that, like, and I don't know where that came from, because I am the most awkward person in real life. <laughs> like, I don't know if there's, like, a specific phobia for it, but... And I don't know if any, maybe any of you guys have this, but, like... There's such a big difference between me talking casually with someone and me kind of being put on the spot. Like, to give you an example... Um, to give you an example, um, like, giving presentations in college was so hard for me that after I was done giving a presentation, I would have to leave the room and go sit in the hallway and just cry for a minute because I was so anxious and I could barely get through my speech. But then, like, casually, like, you know, we're having a discussion in class, I have a thought, I can just raise my hand and be like, oh yeah, and then I'm the only one talking and everyone's looking at me, but I'm answering the question. I, I, like, I don't, does, that, does that happen to anybody else? Like, is that... There's gotta be, a, like, a, a name for that. Because it's only certain... Like, because I'm so comfortable talking to you guys. But then, like... I don't know. <laughs> Axel Bottle. <laughs> Axel Bottle loves it. With Axel Bottle, it's always a date. But yeah, I don't know. That was me in school too, yeah. Because it's not specifically any kind of public- Because I'm actually super social. I'm kind of- I think we had this discussion the other night, but it's kind of like- I'm an introvert with extroverted qualities, so like, I went out and played Pokemon Go with some people today, which actually, I have exciting things. Come back to it. Um, but- yeah, like, I love going out and meeting people and talking to them about Pokemon and, you know, going places with people, but after, like, two hours, I want to go home and take a nap. Even when I play Pokemon Go with my friends from work, you know, we'll go out and we'll drive around, you know, I'll get to her house at, like, 12.30 and we'll drive around to, like, 3.30, so it's, like, a whole, like, three hours. And by, like, by, like, 2.30, I want to take a nap and I'm yawning for the next, like, hour and a half of the trip. Like, I've just, my body has had enough of social interaction for the day and just, I just get... 
but public speaking is different than like giving a speech and I don't know why that is like oh like a social anxiety yeah maybe I was saying Axel to see if my messages went through did they they did You put the little uh, the little dog with the paw up and said, I'm really bad with my everything. And then I saw you say Axel Bottle, so maybe. That happens to me as well. Yeah. So maybe it's some kind of social anxiety. Also, fun side story about Pokemon Go today. Um, so at like, I don't know, like 11 o'clock, I got out of bed finally. I was just like on my phone. And I finally got up and went over to my computer because I was, I was thinking, you know, I don't have to go to work on Monday. So I have like a whole extra day to relax. And that's pretty cool. So maybe I'll go out and actually play Pokemon Go today and just shirk my responsibility on Saturday. You know, the stuff I usually do on Saturday. Just save it for another day. So I did. Um, first of all, they accidentally removed me from the local raid group chat. So I have that. But I finally went and met with some people down at a park near my house. And we walked around and did, did raids and stuff. And then we drove to a different park and did some raids. And um, I found a shiny Kabuto. I was real excited about it. Um, I found a shiny Kabuto. I have a whole bunch of candies now, so if I could get some more of those um, research projects to get, encounter the Aerodactyl, I'm like set for a couple of counters for those, because um, I have enough uh, Ammonite and Kabuto candies to do a whole bunch of evolutions. I got, uh, and I also got a shiny Ho-Oh, which was pretty cool. Found a Magmar today, but like I hatched one a year and a half ago. <laughs> you have the shiny Metatite. You found a shiny Aeron today? That's so cool. I've been keeping an eye out for the shiny Aeron, but I, I haven't seen one. I've encountered quite a few of them. Separate layer, real quick. Yeah, so I got real lucky with the uh, shiny ho. -Oh. I was really excited about that one because that's that's one I really wanted. The shiny ho, -Oh. ho -Oh and Lugia are like two of my favorite legendaries. I mean, Lugia beats ho -Oh out by quite a bit. I love I love Lugia, but and there's other legendaries I like probably just as much. I would say like I really like Rayquaza. I really like Yveltal, but. Uh, Ho-Oh's just pretty cool. No shinies, but I have gotten some good IV rock types. That's pretty good, yeah. Those are those are good. You really want the shiny Meditite? Yeah. I want a shiny Sentret so bad, but they never do they will never do a normal type event. They might. Yeah, they I don't know why they haven't see that's the other thing. I don't know why they haven't put Kecleon in the game. Smeargle, I get. I get why they didn't put Smeargle in the game. Because Smeargle, um Oh here. <laughs> Haya wanted um, Jedi Haya with axolotl ears, so that's what. Um, but yeah, like, I, so I like Smeargle I get because its attack has a really weird like mechanic the way um, the way like Delibird did, and that's why it took them so long to put it in the game because they had to figure out how to make it work. Same thing with um, the same thing with Ninkata and Ninjask. I understand why they're not in the game yet because you have to do the whole like evolve the thing with the with the pokeball and then it, yeah, you get two of them like i don't know how they're gonna handle that one but i don't understand kecleon legendary dogs are my favorite don't get me on, don't get me started on the legendary dogs do not get me started on that <laughs> i think we've had that discussion like three times and i get very passionate about it <laughs> I don't get as passionate about the legendary dogs versus cats as passionately as I get about how much I fucking hate Alomomola. But Kecleon's <laughs> gonna slap yeah, words. Kecleon's gonna be like Ditto probably. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, because what is it? It copies. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, why haven't they put that in yet? Because wouldn't it just copy the? It would just be. It would just be the type of whatever move it's being hit by, and since the game already has to know what attack it's being hit by to calculate, um... It already has to calculate that, um... My cat has brought me a half-dead frog at 3 a.m. Oh. You're supposed to appreciate it. Forever. Treasure it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I, yeah, so, like, the game already has to know what attack type you're being hit by in order to calculate, um, extra damage or whatever, so why haven't they put it in yet? It's on the carpet. 
Um, speaking of dead things on a carpet, there is a dead cockroach on my kitchen floor that I put a cup over, and, uh, just, just in case it was still alive. And it's still over there, and I don't feel like picking it up because cockroaches are gross. <laughs> I think they're mostly gone from my house now. Like, I think, I think the cockroaches are mostly gone, but, like, I, uh, I put an, I installed this little device outside on my porch that's supposed to, like, keep bugs away. And it seems to be working pretty well, but I also have been seeing more bugs inside my house, so I'm wondering if it's, like, upsetting the creatures that are in the house, and that's causing them to, like, flee. Um, and, and I'm only joking a little bit, the legendary, uh, the legendary beast. I, I enjoy them a lot. Sweet Coon was always my favorite, um, of them. Although now looking, like, looking as an adult now, I kind of like all of them. All of them are pretty good, you know? I keep hoping they'll re release more shiny Pokemon that are, like, more obscure. Like how they just randomly put shiny, um, shiny Murkrow into the game for, like, no reason. I kind of hope that they keep doing that kind of stuff, just dropping a random shiny for no reason. I was kind of hoping for Valentine's Day that they were going to do, like, a whole bunch of pink Pokemon, because then that would mean Quagsire and Looper would have been in, but then they did love this. Fine, I guess. Got a ditto, and then the same next day I got the field research to catch ditto. I did the same thing. I was really mad about it. Because <laughs> then it took me like three days to find another ditto. kind of excited for the Alolan Pokemon, too. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Keep finding Dittos when I really want Pidgeys for Mass Evolves, and I just know when I get the Field Quest for it, I won't find any. Yep. Did I tell you guys I got soft ba I got Shadow Band for, uh... Right after I caught Mew. <laughs> there was one day I was at work, and I got the fee- I finally caught- I finally did whatever the last thing was that I needed in order to get, um, I think it was catch, like, ten ghost types or something. I finally got enough to do the last stage of the field research for Mew, and, um... <laughs> and so that day at lunch, I went and walked up and down Main Street in- in the- or whatever the- is in Clayton. Um, I, I walked up and down the road and just caught everything, trying to get enough stuff, and the next day I got Shadow Band, <laughs> so that was fun. I don't know what I did that time. The first time I know it's because I was spoofing. The second time, I don't know what the fuck. Thing with these fins. I want to do more, but I'm actually at the point where I save field research things so I don't have to leave the house for the next couple of days. I'm saving my weekly research crate for June so I can get an Articuno. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, save up your crate so that you can get one that you need. That's a great idea. Maybe I'll do that too, because I really don't need a Zapdos, but and I have an Articuno technically, but my Articuno also also has like really shitty IVs. And I know the IVs don't really matter, but it would make me feel if I had a good one. To get Mew, you need to catch a bunch of shit. Yeah, to get Mew the last the last day of field research is catch like 50 things using berries. But I did, I caught like 50 Pokemon in an hour. And apparently Niantic didn't appreciate that, and they thought I was cheating, so they... <laughs> so they, uh, they shadow banned me for like a week. I, I didn't touch the game the whole week after that. I was like, well, okay, not gonna play then. <laughs> Luckily, it was right after the Mareep event, so it's not like I missed out on anything, but... It was still stupid. And their customer service is complete bullshit, so... I 
don't know why I'm having such a hard time drawing axolotls. <laughs> I'm always surprised when people tell me they haven't caught even, like, one shiny. Just because I've caught quite a few at this point, and it's, I just, I don't know, the RNG killed me. I mean, you guys remember, I caught, like, 1,600 Swablus to get my shiny Swablu, but then I found a shiny, um... I found a shiny Kabuto after, like, three encounters today. So, like, I don't understand, the RNG just hates everyone. <laughs> what team are, what, what team, what team are, are I? Um, I am Team Instinct. Which is the only one that matters. You got one shiny Marie. See, that's there's the other thing, right? So the other thing is, um, the last event, which was the which was Charizard, um, I only got one shiny Charmander. That whole thing, and that would normally be kind of annoying, like annoying in and of itself. But on top of that, we only saw like maybe thirty Charmander the whole event. Like we went driving around in like different parks and stuff up near St. Louis. We were up on Main Street. We saw like. Like, 30. Like, I, I hardly encountered any Charmander. You almost... I, I would almost have not even guessed that it was an event day. Like, I, I would have felt like we just found a Charmander. It was really weird. Found, like, 12 shiny Dratinis. Yeah, the first community I did was the Dratini one. I missed the Pikachu. Event. But, um... Yeah, the Dratini one, I caught, like, a, I caught, like... I caught like seven or something, and I had to release a couple of them because I didn't have enough box space to have seven shiny Dratinis. And I'm not the kind of person who wants like 15 of a Pokemon so I can throw them all in a gym. Like, I want like one of everything, and that's it. <laughs> you know, I just want my one best one. They brought it into your room? <laughs> your cat is like, please, notice this frog I found for you. I got you this gift. Why do you not appreciate You have like a, oh, it's a whole frog. If you have a garbage disposal, but it's a whole frog, I don't know, not a good idea. Turns out parks suck for community days because you get the par you just get park Pokemon. So where I was, there were like three Charmanders and ninety nine nose passes. Yep. Yeah, we hardly saw any Charmander that day, so that was kind of disappointing. I definitely didn't get enough shiny. I got I got my one shiny Charizard, so that was fine. I was I was happy to at least get a shiny Charizard. But I would have very much liked to have gotten, you know, three of them so that I could have one of them. Oh, it's a live frog. That's good. That's uh, actually better. I find live frogs a lot easier to handle. <laughs> I don't know. Dead stuff grosses me out. Got mystics and instincts. Are there any valors in the chat? <laughs> Valor seems to be the least common. Even though I was under the impression that it was instinct for a long time, I have actually kind of noticed there's less Valors. We play, we play Starbound together sometime. I thought about it. I have considered it. I'm a list. If we could do that on a Saturday type thing, like instead of doing a Jackbox game, we can do Starbound or something. I don't have Starbound though, so. Except where you, li you live. Except when you live where I live, all the gyms by my house are Valor. Apparently some sort of drama went down in the local raid group and I didn't, like, I, I mentioned today that I was like, oh, apparently something went down. I don't think I want to know when they were like, yeah, we're tired of talking about it. Fair. Okay. Done. Line art. All right, let's chuck some color on this bad boy. Or guard boy. And then I guess we'll do bear emotes. We'll just knock out some emotes tonight. And if 
if we have time, I'll, I'll throw some color on the other ones, too. I definitely won't get the shading on the other ones tonight, but... I'll have to decide what we want to play tonight. It's game night. Oh, I did those nice color bottoms, but I'm... I can't remember. I think that's fake. Let's use the color palettes that I myself. <sighs> I'm gonna do a little scar test right here. Actually, I'm gonna color in. Um, I'm gonna color this emote and then shrink it down and see how the scars look because I think you might be right I think just doing the scars in flat color might be good, but I want to see how they blend with the, uh, with the lines when you shrink them down Oh, so I don't know if I remember I don't remember if I told you guys um, talking to tested about it, but um, I said look about dumb things but um you know how i showed you guys that vectorized steve i did a, a little while back um and mentioned shirts and stuff so i think my plan is gonna be um i, I want to shoot for partnered um i would love if i could spend time with you guys all the time <laughs> and if this could be like a career type thing it might not be it might continue being just a hobby but i would still like to shoot for partnered um because you guys deserve the best and uh, in that vein, I think what I'm gonna do because so I so I was looking online for places to get things like t-shirts made And I could go through a website like Zazzle. I could go through a website like Redbubble But what I found was that uh, Weebly actually prints shirts and merchandise and stuff and you can put it on your website um, And it can be like I Mean it can be like a website shop. It can be like a storefront with your name and everything on it doesn't have to be like through a site like Redbubble I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like our celebration for that. I think because at that point we'll have a bunch of people actually. So um, I think when once once we hit partnered, which I, that's the goal, that's the plan. Um, when if and when we get to partnered, uh, that's when I'm gonna think about doing panel merch, and we'll do stuff like T-shirts. I'm trying to find a way to do mouse pads, uh, hoodies, that kind of stuff. And, I'll, and when, when we get to that point, I'll probably do, like, a poll, like, what kind of stuff do you guys want to see. Um, it'll still be a while off for stuff like um, blushes and pins, which is something I really want to do, but I can't do that right now. So that's... I want a pink lotto that looks like Chansey. Yeah, somebody pointed that out to me, that Chansey looks like, um, like, an, like an axolotl, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can see it. I'm like a fat axolotl. Oh, actually, let me show you guys. It's not gonna look like this. Let me, let me show you. Um. Oh, also, my search history. Clear that, because it... Like hell right now. Because I spent a lot of time last night just scrolling through the front page on DeviantArt and just blocking, like, junk on the front page. Let's go to my favorites on DeviantArt. Yeah, so I found this person. Adorable little toothless plush that have, like, their mouth open. <laughs> And they're kind of great, and I almost bought a plush from her, and then didn't. But, um, I was kind of thinking if, like, way off in the future, I'm talking, like, years from now, when I can actually afford to do something with plush. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to get Steve's made in this style. Like, this kind of, like, chunky, like, an actual, like, plush. I don't know, that was kind of my thought. But, these are pretty adorable anyway. This, uh, I can't pronounce her username, but that's it right there. Uh... Uh, it's I think it's don't but yeah so I want a pink lot of looks like cheese. yep so that was uh, something I was milling over just yesterday I thought I'd share that information with you guys it has nothing to do with anything I just thought I would share it <laughs> since it was something that was on my mind and now it's off my mind I want a plush of my guys yeah oh the plush artist that I bought the uh, chompzilla from finally got um finally got fabric in for my Chompzilla plush, so I'm getting that sometime in the next couple weeks, I think. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, the other thing is... I kind of want to get something else from them. Uh, especially depending on what it looks like when they're done. Like, I, I want to get one. I'm, like, addicted to... 
What do you think? Orange gills? I believe the gills the color they are right now. The, the Jedi cloak light or dark? Yeah, no, I would love to get, like, plush. Like, I would love to see plush of your guys, Rhea. That'd be so cool. <laughs> I could see it being done in, like, a couple different, um... In a couple different fabrics, too. Like, I could see them being done in, you know, like... I could see it being that, like... Yeah, I could see like that's like you know the tops being in like a leathery fabric and then the bottom being in fur. I think that'd be really cool. Velvet Steve or Corduroy Steve. No. One can dream, right? I am allowed to dream. I have I have illusions of grandeur. <laughs> Alright, let's do a scar test right now. Let's reduce this to uh 72. Alright, so 72 DPI. 100%. All of this. Get a little better. So that's... Wow, that's... uh. Okay, um, so then we reduce it to... Size down. Oh, you can see the scars pretty alright, actually. They don't obscure much. Hard one. 28 by 28 just looks shit anyway. <laughs> You can probably hardly even see that on the stream, but... Yeah, I think that'll be alright. You can see the scars pretty well. I didn't think you'd see them as clearly as they are. But yeah, you can, you can see them alright. I hope the plushes would be stackable. That'd be really cool. Put, like, little magnets in them so you can stack them. That's actually something I just want to do separately, and maybe that'd be even a little cheaper than plush. I don't know. Her, but, like, I want to make little figurines of little axolotls and buy, like, a set of them. Kind of like a barrel of monkeys type of thing, but they're axolotls and they stack. Put that out there. Today, on this day, I made that suggestion. My workplace cannot have it. I maybe mean, rope Sidri into learning how to make plushes? Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I could hire somebody, like a, like a content creator, or, or somebody like Sidri who does plush, but... A lot of plush, you know. <laughs> I don't know how much plush that would end up being. But maybe for a small amount, I don't know how much work that would be. That's a lot of plush. There's some very orange notes. Whoa! Bev punched down the wall! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Everybody look out! Fev's coming through! <laughs> oh, pow! You've got me super interested in a Drask plush now? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, totally! Yeah, maybe she could do, like, just, like, one, like, custom... Not plush for the whole channel, but, like, custom plush for people. Doesn't hurt to ask! <laughs> Fev with the muscle arms! What's going on? We're working on emotes, and I'm being an awkward smush. What's going on? How how goes how goes your Saturday? How goes everyone's Saturday? Oh jeez, Shante, you're really loud. Jesus Christ. Yeah, ask her sometime, why not? I'm uh, finishing up Haya's emotes. I don't know why Haya needs emotes, but Haya's getting emotes. And then I'm gonna do the Go. So. I don't know how much time I'm getting. Sort of enjoying this, and I actually feel like I'm getting something done for once, which is great. Awkward smish. Oh man, big mood. Yep. There might be sheep. There, there might possibly be sheep. Whether or not there is sheep depends entirely on how late you guys let me go. <laughs> like, if you all want to play games, 
then you gotta speak up because I'm probably gonna focus on. Now I'm frog hunting. Oh no, did the frog escape? Oh, so a butterfly got on my porch today. And you might be thinking, Axie, that's not that weird. There was a butterfly on your porch. That's probably pretty cool. Except, if you remember correctly, I put up a fence. I put up a net on my porch to keep my cat from falling off the balcony. And so somehow this giant black butterfly got onto my porch um, and could not get off my porch because it could not figure out how to get around the screen. <laughs> So I ended up chasing it around on my tiny little, like, 4x7 porch, trying to catch it so that I could throw it out from under it, and I finally had to take the net down a little bit so it could get out, because I couldn't get a hold of it. <laughs> They've scared it into my room somewhere and you don't know where. Yeah, you might want to find that. The, the last thing you need is a dead frog in your room. Because the frog might be alive now, but it might be dead later. <laughs> I also have a fun fact, in case anybody didn't know this, I was working, I, I have a, um, I have a little garden on my porch, and I had my first strawberry today, and my strawberries taste delicious, and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna show up? I just wanna sh I just wanna sleep. I know you mean 3.30 in the morning, but when it is 3.30 in the afternoon, I too wish to sleep. <laughs> so... Also big mood, even though it's not about the same time time frame. That's really fucking dark, Jesus Christ. This shading pre-work up makes it look like a legit Star Wars comic because they love to use weird lighting. It kind of does, doesn't it? What the hell? Probably just gonna... not in the right place. This music from Chrono Cross? It? Oh, my current music picker is not playing. Nope, this is Undertale. Yep. There it is. Should have totally left it as it was and I'd never hit it. Hit, hit. Oh, I meant this little this little X right here is not it. That's a vaguely important aspect of the characters, so probably, you know, fix that. <laughs> you blamed Axobottle? Yeah. That's not Axobottle's fault. I opened the program and forgot to turn it on. The weird thing about the program that makes the ticker, right, is that it, um... The weird thing about the ticker is that sometimes it um, prevents uh, iTunes from closing at the end of the stream, so that's fun. Um, and so sometimes I forget to turn it on because I'm like, I forget to turn it off. My brain is dumb and works backwards. It's a very red-orange command. Guitar riff sounded like a Chrono Cross riff and I was swarming with nostalgia. Hey, you know what? Get nostalgia from anywhere, man.
Thank you for reminding me that my ticker wasn't on, though. <laughs> Overlay on there. Okay, first emote done. No nostalgia from Subnautica. <laughs> Good old Subnautica. Are you saying that Subnautica is not your favorite game of all time ever? Is that what you're telling me, Fev? Grant! Pick this up a little notch. Very long time. How far did you get in your second playthrough the last time, by the way? <laughs> Because you started playing it again, didn't you? <laughs> For some reason? Fuck, I did it on this one, too. Oh yeah, why can't I draw your... Goddamn scars in the right... Earlier, I was nostalgic about old Windows downloading thing where the file would new out of the globe into a folder. It's in the corner behind a cabinet I get, can't get to. Okay. Can you... Alright, now we got now we gotta get creative. So... Can you put, like, a cup or something in a place where it can't get out and then use, like, a long stick or something to encourage it to go inside the cup slash container? So, like... Like, I'm, so this is what I'm picturing, right? So you are, this is your cabinet, right? And you're looking back behind the cabinet and you're seeing this little frog back here. So like, can you put like a cup here so it can't get out and then like force it that way? It's a cup. Definitely a cup. It's a three, four, we don't know. We found, we built the prawn and I was going to use it to get the things to build a cyclops, but then the prawn bugged out and then I never, then I... And never dropped from where the mobile vehicle base synthesized it way up in the air, and then I got stuck and I didn't have the heart to make another. That's fair. Right in the corner along a really narrow section. Ah, darn. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what attracts them. <laughs> Ooh. I was gonna ask you too, Fev. Uh, what happened to your Pokemon Sage stream? I hadn't, like, been able to come to your Sage streams for a little while. I was just curious, like, why you stopped them. There was a reasoning for it. Terribly indecisive when it comes to games, and I have a bad habit of readily doing the same game more than one. Oh, okay. You just you just switched off of it. I was wondering if like something happened to your save file or something, because I've I've quit games before because my save file got corrupted or something. So I was just I was hoping nothing bad happened. So if you're feeling indecisive about a game, that's cool. I was just make I was hoping nothing bad happened. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty close to the end of Okami, and I'm actually really excited to play a Pokemon game again. I was kind of thinking we could do platinum right now, but then maybe after that we'll tackle one of like the fan made, uh, like Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Like maybe we'll. Oh, what are they called? Um, Sacred Gold or. Uh, yeah, Sacred Gold or Storm Silver. Maybe we'll do one of those. I know it's possible to use those games to do like an egg lock, and that might be kind of cool, but I don't know if we have enough people to do an egg lock. No. Because the egg locks, are, egg locks are really cool when you have like a lot of people. You know, when you're getting eggs from, like, so many people, you would never feasibly eat them all. <laughs> right now, I think I'm gonna do Platinum as a... That's a ways off. I still have to... If y'all got a little more Okami before we go to anything else.
I will give you eggs of the best Pokemon if you play six gen or something. Did somebody say eggs? I did. I did I did mention I did potentially mention an egg, yes. I don't know, maybe I'd let you guys submit like a couple eggs if we did that. I'd have to figure out how to put eggs in a Storm Silver game though, that's the other thing. But I had um I had a save file from a YouTuber's like Storm Silver game um that had the egg egg lock thing set up and that was pretty cool. That was that was a lot of fun. Um fiddling around with that. My save file got corrupted, so I lost everything. But that was kind of cool. So I have a complete dex up until 6th gen. That's pretty cool. So, actually, that brings me to a major frustration, and maybe somebody, if anybody in chat has played, um... If anybody in chat has played, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, maybe you can tell. This might be the deciding factor of whether... Not. Do they give you more box spaces in, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Because here's the thing. One of my biggest frustrations with, um, maybe one of my only frustrations, in fact, with, uh with um, Sun and Moon, was that they don't give you enough box spaces. Like, in um, in X and Y, I had a living dex, which basically means that I had one of every Pokemon. So if I had a Venusaur, I had an Ivysaur, and a Bulbasaur. If I had a Charizard, I had a Charmander, and a Charmeleon also. I had one of everything. And, oh, think of what a bit, a shingle bit. One bitty. Um, but yeah, so I had I had literally one of everything. And on top of that, I had one of every form. I had uh, every Vivillon. I had every Deoxys. I had one of every Deoxys. I had um, one of every Rotom. So I had like a true living dex. And when I tried to transfer it over to Sun and... And, and, and on top of that, I still had three extra box spaces. No, five. I had five extra box spaces because I had three for putting, um, I had three for putting eggs in for when I was breeding for stuff, and then I had two for putting my teams and special Pokemon in. So I had five additional boxes on top of all, like, 600 whatever, you know, Pokemon I had in my boxes. I think it was the same as RS, so fun fact, I didn't really play that much. I played Aorus long enough to get to the end of it, and then was like, fuck this game. <laughs> um, so I didn't actually put all my Pokemon. But so I stuck all my Pokemon on Pokebank, and transferred them over to Sun and Moon. And, like, halfway through transferring them into my boxes on Sun and Moon, I ran out of space. They didn't give you enough space for all the generations of Pokemon. They didn't give you enough room. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why would you not give us enough room for that? <laughs> I was sort of annoyed about that. <laughs> well, and that's well, po see, that's the thing though is, like, so, game. Why are you so loud? I know that's what Pokebank is for, but when I had the Living Dex in X and Y, if I needed a Pokemon for breeding purposes, like if I needed, if I needed a Mill Tank that had Rollout to breed with something. I could just go in my- I could just flip through my box, my PC storage, and grab a mill tank, and it probably had the thing I needed. I didn't have to close the app, go to Pokebank, log into Pokebank, sh shift through all of them, move the mill tank into my transfer box, and then close the app, and wait for it to disconnect from the internet, and then log back into the game, and then do everything I was gonna do, and then put it back in my box on the Pokebank. I, like, there's so many steps to using Pokebank when you have a living dex. And I wish that I could just have all of my Pokemon in my game so that even if I am playing offline, I can still do all my breeding and shit and not have to try to get an internet connection so that I can go on a Pokebank and go through 15 steps to get my Pokemon. I mean, that's where they all are now. All of them are on Pokebank, but I just wish that they weren't. I wish that I could put them in my game the way I had them in, in X and Y. No, yeah, that's the, that, yeah, that's the thing. In 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 Sun and Moon, they give you enough storage. They they don't give you enough storage to have all the sixth gen Pokemon and all the seventh gen Pokemon. You physically cannot have 
721 Pokemon in your PC boxes. I tried. <laughs> there, there is physically not enough room. Because in, in Sun and Moon, I filled up three boxes with, um, with Sun and Moon Pokemon. Because I also had one of every mini or. But they don't give you enough. It's goofy. I don't know why. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna look that up. What's the exact number? Bank is 99 boxes. I want to know how many boxes you get in Sun and Moon. I think it's more than 99 boxes on Pokemon Bank. I think it's more than that by a lot. Because, no, in fact, I, I know it's more than 99 boxes on PokeBank because I have my whole living decks on there, plus, like, 50 boxes of rufflets because I don't feel like releasing them. <laughs> Pain in the ass to transfer them into my game just so I can release them. <laughs> 906. Like 900 something? Well, 807. Do you get approximate. So if you have one of every Pokemon, not including alternate forms, you have 100, about 160 box spaces left. So drop one of those. So drop like 60 of those for alternate forms because I think the Vivalons take up a whole box and the Unknowns take up a whole box by themselves. So drop two of those. So you're left with one box to put, to put stuff in. Like, what? <laughs> you, you want me to keep all my Pokemon? Like, because I think that's part of my problem too is that I have one of every Pokemon including one of every form. So I have all 28 Unknowns. I have all the Vivalons. I have all of the whatever. You know, I, I, I have everything. <laughs> and I don't have enough space for it. And it just, I don't understand why they didn't, like, give you enough room. <laughs> because after you're done doing forms and everything, you now only have space for one more box full of Pokemon. I'm not expecting to have, like, you know, I, it's not like I want to have all of my shinies in their own box, too, you know? Like, I'm not that worried about it. I just wish I could put my living decks in there. Because in, um... In fact, that's another good... Pokemon were there. Excellent. 721. In that game... You had 930 box space. So you had 209 slots left to deal with, and if you subtract my 60 calculation for all the Vivalons and all the unknowns, it left you with 149 box spaces, and at 30 Pokemon per box, you had four, almost five extra boxes in X and Y. I like how I just did some, like, real-time live math for you guys on screen. Welcome to math time. <laughs> my point being... I am slightly salty about the fact that in X and Y, I had five additional spaces after I was done with my living decks. But in, in, in Sun and Moon, I do not have five additional boxes after finishing my living decks. And I don't understand. <laughs> Math. Yeah. I'm not that mad about it. I'm just like slightly, like vaguely salty about it. Like it's one thing I wish that they would fix. I wish that that was something that they would do. Give you more than 930 boxes. Or 930 slots, rather. Because that's not... Uh, how many boxes? I don't know how many boxes. You'd do well in the new Final Fantasy. I am not that good at math. 
You better watch me pull out the calculator app. My friend was complaining about that raid. <laughs> oh boy. One of you guys told me Final Fantasy you know, a lot of Might have even been pretty. That red one? That scar is slipped off the knife. <laughs> we'll never notice that those are not exactly enough. You have to get the level 50 fun. Yeah, see, I can't play a game like that. I don't know. I, I'm not the kind of person that, like... I, I don't know. If I'm not having fun, then I don't want to do it. Like, that's not a judgment of the game or anything, but I'm not enjoying it. Even if, I, even if it's going to be, like, the best game I've ever finally get to the top. I, I don't know. Can't, I can't handle that sort of frustration. But that's kind of a... That's why I like Guild Wars so much, because I never felt bored while I was playing Guild Wars. Like, I never I never felt like I was having to struggle to play it. The last, like, 20 or so levels are kind of grindy in a way. Like, it does take a while to get to 80, but I don't know. I, I, I never felt like I was having to work extremely hard to level it. It was challenging, and but you were mostly doing other stuff like raids and bosses and stuff. And I, just, I don't know, I never felt like I was getting around. But people are okay with that. Some people don't mind putting up with a little bit of struggling. Good. Getting back into it already. Rolled two new tunes. I'm suffering so good. Aw, yeah. New tune. I have so many characters. Probably not as many characters as Bev, but... <laughs> I do have a fair number of characters. I actually, in in the spirit of me having one of everything, I also have um, I have one of every race in Guild Wars. I do not have one of every class, but I do have one of every race. Sura, I have a char my Char is my main. I have a human who is my other like alt main, and then I have my other characters that I kind of made just. So I've got Nasura, I have a Silvari, and I have a No. Uh, and then I have a second char because you can't ever have too many too many char. Um half brother char. And then um I keep hoping that they'll give us a new race. They won't, but I just keep hoping for it. And then I'll make something cool like a revenant. I really hope they give us Tengu. It's really what I want. I have eleven. <laughs> Want Tengu, yes. Please give us Tengu. Why will you not give us the Tengu? I need it. We're never getting Tengu. I so know we're never getting Tengu. I just want them so bad. Wow, well, I was getting sub races in the new expansion, and I like it. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, Haya's emotes are done. So, there's Face Palm, Haya. There's, there's, I need to put your multiply layer back on, love heart, Haya, and there's axolotl, Haya. Haya's emote. I'll shrink them down, export them later. I, that did, that took way longer than I thought it was going to totally honest. Um, I'm going to do these real quick. They're not going to. I'm gonna do Dakotas or um Bashers real quick. People have been talking about Tangu since vanilla. Oh, they so have. I think if they are if I think if they do do a um another race, I feel like the Tangu is the best bet. 
personally. I, you know, if they if they're gonna do it, I think that's the one they're gonna do. Do I think they're actually gonna do it? No. I I I think that that is just a pipe dream. I think that we're gonna beg for that forever, and we're never gonna get. It. But if they are going to choose a pre-existing race to make into a playable race, I think it's gonna be the. That one seems the most likely. I think Skrit doesn't have enough. Um, I don't think Skrit stand on their own well enough. Um, Skrit have a really cool, like, lore thing, but I think that would be really hard to implement in a character. I know we're never gonna get centaurs. I don't know where people got that idea. I did hear somebody saying that they they thought we were gonna get centaurs. I can you imagine Arena Net making. Can you imagine Arena Net making armor for centaurs? Get out of here. Stop that. <laughs> I see WoW's trying to find a way to become relevant again. <laughs> Would Tengu ever have a have good enough reason to open up the Dominion of Wind, though? Probably not. And I think that, well, among other reasons. Centaur in the underwater levels. I'd play a centaur. If they gave us centaurs, I was to I would totally play a centaur. They're never gonna give that to us, but I would do it. And then a couple of the other ones I heard people talking about, like, you know, some of them like the Ice. The the Norn that are like bears. That are uh, the Norn that are polar bears. Somebody mentioned those one time and I was like, Are you serious? You think they're actually gonna give us those? They're not that different from regular Norn. The players are too horny to add another beast race. Yeah. I don't think we're getting a new race anytime soon. I hope that they do someday, but... Right now we got mounts, and mounts are very profitable for Arena Net, so they are not inclined to do else for us because everybody knows they know they're gonna make a ton of money off the mounts. So the Codan already have the same animations as the Norn too. Yep, Codan. That's so yeah. I don't know. I keep hoping Guild Wars Two will do another race, but I don't think they're. Why would you do the extra work to in to introduce a whole new race? Playable race, I should Um, because they've introduced them from, um, from the Heart of Thorns. But, like, why would they go through the, the, the hassle of creating a whole new playable race with a whole new storyline when they could just keep making mount skin? Because <laughs> at $35 a pop, they're making all their money off mounts. <laughs> Which, fun fact, that's what a new mount skin equals out to. You want one of them fancy premium mount skins, that's gonna cost you a nice 35 smackaroonies. Fucking stupid. Goddamn mount. With our luck, it won't be an existing race, but a new kind of Silvari or something from the dragon? Maybe. Is there a new dragon? I'm still trying to get through, uh... I'm still trying to get through the expand the two expansions. After I... How mounts are only $25? I, that still... Yeah, in Guild Wars, you can pay, like, $10 for, um, a random mount skin, or you can buy a premium. 35 You get a bunch of coins left over, but if mount, it's not... I don't buy wow mounts on with money. I use gold. No new dragon, but they're running out, and I'd be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if I had more. Yeah, that's true. I still laugh every time anybody talks about Primordius, or whatever the fuck his name is, the the the, the lava dragon. <laughs> Just a laugh. Every time. They just... That boss. 
like the most excellent thing. Vendril just wanna let people know that this is Aubriel tonight at a friend's house. Hi Aubriel! Slash Vendril, what's going on? If anybody in the chat has not heard my story about Primordius, the uh, magma dragon before um, from Guild Wars 1, I'll tell it. But if you guys have all heard it, then I won't tell it again. <laughs> but that's like one of my favorite stories. <laughs> we had such a good ass time in that. Even the first Guild Wars was really fun. Play in Knack and Watch Arts waiting for game night tonight. Yeah, uh, I'm going to finish up the, these two emotes here real quick. Um, maybe we'll do a derp. I started a little late, and I think I can get at least these two done, so... Unless for whatever reason you guys want to skip game night, and I'll keep drawing. It's up to you guys, though. So. I'm down for whatever you guys want. Actually, Fev, have I ever told the, uh... Have I ever told the story about, um... The, the lava dragon from Guild Wars 1 while you were in stream? I'm in the mood for watch draw. I kind of want to tell it because it's a good story. That's a good ass story. I don't think I'm familiar with it. All right, so let's take you guys all the way back to 2000, whatever the fuck, when Guild Wars One was the thing and Guild Wars Two hadn't come out yet, and they came out with Guild Wars One: Eye of the North. And Eye of the North was the first like officially labeled expansion. It was an expansion of the first game. You got to follow one of the characters. I don't know if you're familiar. But you got to follow one of the characters that you helped in the first game, and now she was an adult, and you could take her as a canyon or whatever to help fight for you. So, she was like an NPC. Anyways, so this game takes place, like, in the north half of, like, Ascalon and Krita. And it was, like, all about... this is It was the first time in the first Guild Wars you ever met the other races. Because in the first Guild Wars, it was only humans. And the Char were the enemies in uh, the first game, and he didn't really know anything about them past that. So this was the first time you were ever seeing Asura, it was the first time you ever saw Norn, all that good stuff. So in this game, one of the mechanics was that when you went to a city with, you know, like a, uh, like a racist city, so you were in the Asura city or in the Norn city, whatever, you could uh, do quests for them and gain affiliation with them. It was some kind of like separate little like tier reward tree. And if you gained so many things, like, points with that race, you could start buying things like skills from them, so you could get, like, a racial skill. And a lot of them was, like, you know, you know, <laughs> Guild Wars. Hey, Gaunts, what's going on? We're, we're going to a story. You caught him! Yes, Lily! <laughs> Finally got the frog! The sir will tell about little gremlins, and I love them still. Yes, so, um, one of these skills, and I'm gonna go look up the name. Guild Wars 1, Sura, so you could get skills from these, right? So, um... There are rank skills. So this skill, right, um... Was Pain Inverter, that's the one. So my dad was really into getting all the achievements. So my dad got his rank up with the Asura enough that he could get this skill. And what this skill does is it, um... For every target... For six to ten seconds, every target foe, every time the target foe deals damage, that foe takes 100% to 140% of the damage it causes. So, that's, that, let, I've now set the scene. My dad is a ranger slash ritualist who has this skill called Pain Inverter. So my dad and my sister and I are all playing Guild Wars and we get to the end of, we get to the end of Eye of the North. And we are about to fight Primordius, who is the fire dragon. He's the lava dragon who's causing the earthquakes all over Tyria. And we go down into the lava area, and we're like, 
were like, we're gonna beat this dragon, it's gonna be awesome. I was ready to go. I had my skills set up in, the way, in a way that I had 15 minions. In the original Guild Wars, the number of minions you could have was based on your skills, on your traits, and not on what skills you had on your skill bar. You could have as many minions as you had trait points for. So I managed to rig my build to the point that I had 15 minions. So, you are now- my dad is great. My dad's the best ever. So, I'm gonna give you guys the- we're gonna give you guys the countdown, right? So we've got my dad. His, uh, I think he had a Maguma Stalker pet. We had- he had two NPCs, so that's- we're up to four. My sister, she had two NPCs, so now we're up to eight- uh, seven. Then there was me, so that's eight, plus fifteen. So we had, like, over twenty things in our party ready to go fight this dragon, and we get down into the lava, and there's magma everywhere and stuff, and the dragon comes down, and it, it you know, it's it's big and round and red, and it's just angry-looking dragon thing. And the battle starts, and the epic music goes, and fireballs start falling out of the sky, and Dad starts throwing arrows, and my sister starts casting spells, and then the cutscene runs. And the cutscene just starts playing, and the dragon falls into the lava. We were in that room for three seconds, and the dragon falls into the lava, and the credits start to roll, and we're like... What? <laughs> what just happened? My dad, who's on... <laughs> I think we were using Ventrilo at the time, starts just, like, pissing himself laughing. Just absolutely just... Crying with laughter. Exactly, Fev. And he goes, I used pain inverter on it. That dragon used Firestorm on all 20-something of us and reversed all of the damage onto itself. <laughs> and we just... We murdered the dragon in three seconds and it was so good. Because my sister and I had no idea what happened. We didn't know what skills he had with him. So we were just like, why are the credits going? <laughs> Oh, our nemesis seems to have died. <laughs> yep. So that's the story of how we beat the final boss of Guild Wars 1 in three seconds. <laughs> it was incredible. I like telling that story. Anytime there's somebody in the chat who's never heard that story before, I enjoy telling that story because that is one of my single favorite things that has ever happened to me in a video game. My dad is the best and he's great. and It was just so funny. Um, that's actually a great question. I don't know if that got nerfed. I'm gonna bring up that page again. <laughs> the functionality of the skill has changed since its introduction. Yep. <laughs> yes, it had- it was nerfed, <laughs> I guess. It doesn't do- I don't think it functions like that in PvP, although PvP wasn't as good- as big in the first game, if I remember correctly, but... Yeah. Um... Now I'm looking to see if they nerfed it. I, I hope to god they nerfed it. <laughs> For 10 to, every time the target foe deals damage, that foe takes 80 to 40. And they actually increased it. Decrease the rank title required to get maximum effectiveness. They actually made it better. <laughs> it looks like they actually maybe made it better. The damage is capped at 80 for each instance, but there's no limit to the number of instances. That's pretty much what the problem was, because I could have 15 minions. Because I... I because, like I said, the, the way you got minions in the first game was that you had to summon them from corpses, and you had to... Um... The number you could have was based on what traits you had, and so I just buffed one of, whatever the trait was that that allowed you to have more minions as far as it would go. So I could have like 15 to 16 minions depending on the time. So pretty sure I've linked this video before, but there was a comparable WoW skill called Blood Mirror for Death Knights. So a bunch of Death Knights were able to kill a mythic boss in about 20 seconds. I think you have showed that, but if you share that again, I'm sure other people in the chat would love to see it. Because that is also a quality video. <laughs> I think I remember you guys sharing that. It's done. You caught it? Yes. Oh, Vasher, I'm glad you like these emotes. I'm sorry I took a little side tangent there. I, I hope you enjoyed my story. When a girl has a healthy relationship with her dad. My dad is the best. My dad is so good. You know how last week I was all complaining about how my car cost me like $1,200 to fix and it was like ridiculous? 
while my dad was like, oh, you go ahead and, and use the emergency credit card to pay for it, and then you just pay me back on PayPal. Like, that's how cool my dad is. My dad is cool with, like, putting half a bill for, like, a month and a half so that I can not starve to death. <laughs> Which I guess is maybe the dad thing to do. That's what a good parent does, is you your kids not starve to death, but still. He plays video games with us. He's just kind of the coolest. We have this, um, uh, here's a, here's a fun, um, we, we go, we, we go to Cape May in the summertime, uh, which is in Maryland if you've never been, um, but there's a spot in Cape May where there's like a, it's like a bay where the boats all dock and there's a restaurant by there, so while we're waiting for our, you know, we're, while we're waiting for our table at this restaurant, uh, we walk down there and just kind of look around in the water and stuff and see if we can find any cool critters or anything to play with, but there's this big fallen, like, metal tube and the first year we were there, my dad took this picture of him, like, doing, like, a surfer pose on top of it. And in that shirt, he's wearing a, um, he's wearing, like, a, a Tilly hat. And he's got a blue polo shirt on and denim shorts. And, like, two years later, we went back and my sister wasn't with us. But we took the same, we, we took a picture again. And it was, it happened to be the same pose. Like, he jumped up on there. So I took the picture and I sent it to my sister. And she was like, Katie, why did you send me the picture from last year? And I was like... I didn't. I literally just took this picture right now, and so she sent me the picture from the first year we took that photo, and my dad was in the same position wearing the exact same outfit, and <laughs> it was really funny. Because <laughs> it was totally not planned, but it was... It was... So, um, long story short, my dad... <laughs> but uh, it's done. I put him on the windowsill so he can find his own way down. Ah, uh, yes, the video... I consider playing MMOs for 12 years. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, so my dad's cool. That's long, short. I think you guys have met him a couple times. He's come onto the street. There was a week, a month ago, where I just kept getting photos of the inside of one of his tanks. Because he had baby goldfish and he was very excited about it. You have not met him yet. He might have stopped coming to the. We call him Dad a lot. And now he's everybody else. My dad has now inherited like something. <laughs> Axolotls. <laughs> I'm love dead. My dad also currently has. Th Arms and is thinking about uh, that back, and also he and I had hermit crabs. My dad's a cool critter guy, too. Dad a lot get him. The one. My mom's pretty cool, too. I talk about my dad more often just because he comes up more often in the conversations on this channel because we talk about video games, and so I always have stories to tell about a video game if I dad, but my mom's super cool. I have a really good relationship. So my mom's always, you know, helping me out with stuff, and she's she's good too. My dad's a dick, so I can't relate. I always think that's really unfortunate. You know, family members are just kind of, you know, like that sucks. It because it's so nice to have that kind of relationship with my family that I can just call them whenever and just, oh guys, what's going on? Like. Derpy bear real quick. Tone that down just a little bit. Do you want this, uh, Basher, do you want the derpy one to be, like, wearing anything in particular, or is it just a... Because if it's just a derpy bear and it doesn't need to be, like... If it doesn't need to be wearing anything, I might make the face bigger so that there's, um... Like, so you can see more of him. I 
Okay. People are very quiet today. Okay. I'm just gonna make this one just not wearing the outfit then. Um just so just so like this one is a little closer up. But I was sending I was sending my dad pictures and stuff on my garden garden today. Well, which I'm excited about. So I'm thinking these will probably only take me until 10.30, and then do you guys want to play, play a game? Or want to keep doing art? I know it's Stack Saturday and we always do games, but um, I don't know what you guys are feeling. I know, just know it's still the house. I don't care either way. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of the first Stack Saturday we've done where we... There's this little part of me that's like still thinking about, honestly, thinking about the last time we played Jackbox game, Jackbox games on the stream, and just kind of. But I know that's a matter of we just need to play more games so I can get that memory out of my head. But occasionally I play Minecraft while you stream, and so when I heard the Minecraft music, I had a moment of, did I leave the game running? <laughs> Do I need to own Jackbox to play? You do not. That's actually why I opted to go for Jackbox when we play games, because nobody does. That unfortunate instance. Yep. That was the instance. I'll never understand that. Either way, I'm going to finish this emo. Then... All you gotta have is, uh... All you, all you gotta have is a uh, internet connection. Here, you have an internet connection. I always just paste the code in Discord. That's what I'm gonna have to do this time. I'm just like thinking about it. I'm... <laughs> yeah, what'll have to happen next time we play Jackbox, whenever whether it's tonight or any other night, what we're gonna have to do is um. I'm gonna have to start posting the link privately, and then if there's anybody, like, for example, Lee, who doesn't have Discord and isn't in our Discord, like, those people like her are gonna have to get, um, the, the code, room code PM to them, because I can't, I can't leave the room code open anymore. Just sucks. I don't understand why swastikas are funny. Never understand that. So that's one thing I don't get, like, just in general. Not getting into politics too much, but more into the social psyche of just humans in general. I don't understand how people can go through, go through school and learn about all these things that are bad. You know, you learn about how bad the Holocaust you learn about how bad, you know, slavery was. You learn about how bad smoking is. You learn about how bad unsafe sex is. And to be fair, for that one, we don't really teach kids good safe sex in America. And it's stupid. This whole abstinence thing, not a good plan. Anyways. <laughs> but, like, you get taught all through school about all these things that are bad. And then kids do it anyway. You, you learn about all the terrible side effects of smoking, and then kids still go and smoke anyway. Or you learn about how bad the Holocaust was, and everyone's like, everybody knows how bad the Holocaust was, but you still get idiots on the internet post the, who draw the swastika into your Jackbox game because, oh, ha, ha, it's, it's, oh, it's so funny, oh, guess the Jews, oh, ha, ha. Like, I don't, I don't get that, like, from a psyche standpoint. I don't understand, like, why is that appropriate after all the years that you learned about it in school. 
from streaming a Disney movie the other day on Rabbit and random people kept dropping in to be racist. Um, so pretty actually one thing I did, um, one thing that I do, the stream on, on Rabbit, I make it only um, for people with links and I just distribute the link accordingly. I don't let randos into the stream. The same people who won't just want to join the chat to go, yeah, do the N-word and leave. It's just like, oh, I made them react. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't. I guess I've never understood people who are like that in general. Like, the kind of people who say racist things with, Oh, it's just a prank, bro. It's like, yeah? Is it just a prank, though? Like, for real? <laughs> Alright, and then you wanted a brown bear, right, Basher? With, like, a real dark brown bear? There were some really sweet people who came in. Oh, gotcha. And that's the thing, is, like, I, I hate the idea of making the link private because like then random people can't join the chat and be like oh can i play oh okay yeah you can join next round but i guess on the other hand that does give us more freedom to like that does give me more freedom like if somebody comes in during a round and they say oh can i play next round i'll be like yeah i'll pm you the link and then if somebody's fucking around in the game that round then i know it was the person i pm the message to you know like, I can limit the number of people it could possibly be down to, like, eight. <laughs> Darker brown, okay. I'm gonna leave it this color, because I'm gonna put shading on it, and you're gonna want to be able to see the bear's face, so... The bottom line is that if you're not racist... If you are not racist, you will not do racist shit. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I don't know, I don't get that. I don't general, I don't but. Are you guys ready for possible Ori 2 at E3? I am so excited about that. Yeah, spring, give me Ori 2. Give me all the Ori 2. More good video games, please. Into the soundtrack. We that was one of the first like serious games I played on stream. We played Slime Rancher for a little while, but that was the first like full play thing. You know, Slime Rancher. I gotta go back and like. I gotta go try the uh, the Quicksilver stuff because I never actually did that. Yeah, the Ori soundtrack is great and it's fucking quiet. Um, I want to make sure I have the right color packet. Package. Right. I would watch you play Slime Rancher. I love Slime Rancher. Slime Rancher is so good. I have I have a couple slime rancher plush too. I have uh, I actually well, I don't have a couple. I have all of them. <laughs> um, they they released six yeah, six slimes on We Love Fine is plush and I honey slime. Oh. I have the honey slime. It's a the honey slime, the pink slime, the tabby slime, the rock slime. Uh, Tangle Slime, and the Water Slime. I have all of them. That's the kind. <laughs> the nice thing about it, too, is that, like, so the We Love Fine store for Slime Rancher, they, the plush are, like, $12 a piece. So you only end up paying, like, six them and they're really nice good size plush like i hope someday when i can do merch i hope that my merch will be in that vein you know i hope my merch will be high quality and cheap who wants to pay out the ass for merchandise all right 
Fair one. Purge that down, make a new layer, clip a new thing. Uh, the only thing is, is if you guys ever go check out the Wheel of Fine shop for Slime Rancher, don't buy the prints. The prints are absolute garbage. They print them on, like, watercolor paper, and it's really fucking weird. I'm out really But their t-shirts, I think, are pretty good, and their plush are definitely nice. For whatever reason, their prints just... Because there was a really cute print of a, uh... Like, four slimes stacked on top of each other, and I ordered it, and when it finally got to my house, it was, like... Really faded, really low resolution, and it was printed on some kind of, like, watercolor, like, thick paper. So it, like, just did not... <laughs> it... I don't even have the base game I wanted to, but $20 for a game is, like, how much I can spend in a year. Do they print? They do prints on cold-pressed paper. Yeah, I kind of, I, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it reminded me of. Like, it was really low quality, low resolution, and, like, like, it was a really low resolution print that was just on this weird, like, heavy, like, high texture paper. So on top of the low resolution of the picture, it was also printed on really heavy paper. And I didn't really understand why they did that. So I don't know if all of We Love Finds posters are like that, but the one I got was bad. <laughs> so it looked like someone printed it at home. Yes. So it was really weird. I didn't really understand that. Um, but their plush are nice, so... Good plush. Go for their plush. If you want to buy yourself some Slime Rancher merch, that's that's the way to go. Buy yourself a nice... Buy yourself a nice... Uh, nice uh, plush. Did you guys see my photo of my t-shirt that I got from the last time we played Jackbox? I was pretty excited about that. I'm glad it finally came. It, take, it took like three. Oh. I should have taken pictures of that poster. Just, you guys, the, yeah, no, it, it. The color paper was weird. That was the best, like, 20 bucks I ever spent on anything. <laughs> just like. Oh, you know what? I think I need to have this in my life. I think I think I need to have the probably not the best shirt. I think I needed to have that. <laughs> All right, one email. many bears. Gotta remember to videos from the I'm really bad about keeping the YouTube channel updated. <laughs> it takes forever to uh, uh, like export the videos from YouTube just because like if you just hit export on all of them, they upload in whatever like they go into your YouTube in whatever order they rendered in, so sometimes my videos go up out of order because <laughs> so I have to like go one at a time. I have to like wait for one to end up in the queue on YouTube. Next one. And then do the next one. Yeah, 
Okay, I'll do that. Check all the videos and make sure I'm up to date on everything so that you guys can get to archives if you need them. I like having all the streams archived on YouTube. It doesn't... I don't get a lot of views. It's nice to have. Kind of seemed like the uh, when I was looking back through videos looking for thumbnails, kind of seemed like the audio issues from Okami got better. But I don't know what I did to change it, but it seemed like it stopped being stupid. That's good. You guys certainly haven't been complaining about any popping and clicking. I am led to believe that. Uh, Everything has been fine. This one's nice and easy because it's. Everything is fine. All is well. Oh, I don't even need the nose on this one. There's no war in Bossing Say. You. Right, but there's no war in Boston, so I don't even know why you would bring that up. <laughs> of course, I saw on Tumblr today somebody was comparing Steven to Avatar Last Name. As much as I like it. <laughs> Those shows are not even remotely in the same vein of quality. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You want to go ahead and compare Steven Universe, the show with the worst pacing in the world, to goddamn Avatar The Last Airbender? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like Steven Universe. Don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy me a nice Steven Universe. But they are not even remotely in the same movie. <laughs> not going to get into spoilers, because I don't know which of you like Steven Universe and who has and hasn't seen the new episode, but like, Jesus Christ. <coughs> I like the M. Night Shyamalan Avatar movie. Yeah. Oh my god, Lily. You're trying to trigger us? What the fuck? <laughs> please tell me you've at least seen the TV show. Like, <laughs> tell, please tell me you've at least watched the cartoon also. Guess I need to grab a shield. Oh my god, dude. Lily, oh my god. Watch Avatar The Last Airbender. The first, like, three episodes are so slow, but the rest of it is, like, the most incredible TV show I've ever seen. And it, and it, after you watch the show, you will understand why everyone hates the movie so much. The movie, because the show is amazing. Legend of Korra was okay. Um, I definitely think the first one was much stronger than the, section, the second one, but I think... I think what happened to Legend of Korra was that Legend of Korra suffered from the studio not thinking it was going to get more than one season. Because in Avatar The Last Airbender, everything that happens, happens over all three seasons. All three seasons. You know, so you are following this story from episode one all the way to the last episode. And in, in Legend of Korra, it's like each season is its own isolated thing, and I felt like that ruined the pacing for me a little bit, but I didn't think it was bad. I liked it. I really enjoyed Legend of Korra. I liked the characters. I thought the characters were fun, but I don't think it was as strong as the original. Season 3 of Korra is one of the best seasons of any show. Let us, season 3 of Legend of Korra was way better than, than like, I think the first two episodes were, or the first two seasons were like, okay. I could have done without all the weird love triangle stuff with <laughs> the latest Steven, U Steven Universe, uh, Universe episodes have been intense. Yes. I like me some Steven Universe. I, do. I, I wish Steven Universe was paid for. And that's not their fault either. And I try not to let that get to me, but like... I don't know. It's like... The most recent reveal was like something that I 
feel like it should have had a whole hour-long episode, the way that the episodes where they go to the human zoo had, where it was like four whole episodes about just that thing. I, I wish that they would have done that for the most recent episodes. And they didn't, and I don't know why they didn't, but it just felt like they've been building to this since the very first episode of the show. And then they were just like, oh, and by the way, just, oh, we're going to talk about this now. Half hour, done. We're, we're going to solve this mystery in 20 minutes. Have fun. You know, it was just like, you guys weren't going to spend any more time on that. You just, that just happened. Here you go. Here's the thing. Bye. <laughs> Like, uh, this, the, the, the pacing of TV hurts me, but it's a fun show. I like the characters. The songs are good, so, you know. What more could you ask for? I have fun while I'm watching it. That's all I want. I just want to have fun. Not every show is an Avatar The Last Airbender. Sometimes it doesn't have to be intense and crazy, and you don't have to cry every four seasons. Sometimes you just want to... A, a fun plot twist. <laughs> Avatar Last Airbender, though. Easily top favorite sh TV show, cartoon, literally anything. I can talk about that show. Avatar The Last Airbender was one of the biggest influences on me getting into World <laughs> Because every little thing in that show has a meaning. Every Everything, you know, all the, all the the bending styles are based off martial arts, all of the, you know, all the worlds and the cultures, and it's just, there's just so much to the world of Avatar. But they don't give you everything. You know, you don't have to know about every little person who ever did a thing. But there's enough that you feel like their world is complete and full. And I loved that. The bending style's beautiful. It's just the style of the show in general is so good. I don't think I've ever seen a TV show. I think I watched Spongebob. Spongebob is fun. Spongebob is dumb fun humor. I, I like me some Spongebob. I won't, I won't lie. I do like me some Spongebob. Although old, old Spongebob, not in like a nostalgic way, but old Spongebob is way better. And that's not me being nostalgic for the old. <laughs> and there goes another 110. Yay, student loan will be so glad when it's gone. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Avatar The Last Airbender also had a lower budget, so the animation in the first few episodes really shaky, but the poetry is great and the visuals end up being pretty amazing. The thing about the first couple episodes of, of Avatar is, like, they're, they're establishing all the characters and Aang's really annoying for the first, like, three episodes, and then you find out what happened to him, and then it's like, oh, okay, and then he gets interesting and serious. And then, well, not serious, but he becomes slightly less obnoxious. So, I don't know. I I relate I relate more to Korra, I think, too. Okay, hey, we finished a thing. Alright. So it is ten thirty-seven. <laughs> um Um Got we did we got two commissions done tonight, so that's cool. Um got bears, Kaya emotes, so that's good. Um I'll shrink those down and export them and all that junk later. Um, because it takes a little while to do that. Saving out six emotes, or twelve emotes is going to take me a while, so. Um. What do you guys want to do? We can watch out. I would watch that show again. I could watch that show a hundred times. I had a question. We, you know, we were talking about using your work. How would charge if someone wanted to draw Twitch sub emotes? Oh, so um, Twitch emotes are actually on my commission sheet. Um, it's just a flat rate, 50 bucks for three emotes, and you can put them under Twitch subs. That's, that's it. There's, there's no secrets to that one. That one's kind of like, you, I, you are buying them specifically for use on Twitch. You really aren't going to use those emotes anywhere else. You might use them in your Discord, but, like, that's just kind of the thing. So, yep, that's, that's what I do with that. I spent the entire last episode of Avatar Last Airbender with my butt clenched. <laughs> yes! 
Uh, the ending is practically the best part of that show. Because it, I don't know, it circumvents expectations, and I love that about it. <laughs> yeah, there's Fev with all her emotes. Get this, I didn't watch the last episode because of a breakup. Watch the last episode. So I didn't get to see it till years later. Yeah, I don't remember why I never finished it, but I went back and watched it one time, and I was like... Azula is one of my favorite characters in, like, or... I don't want to say favorite characters. She is one of my favorite written characters. The writing on Princess Azula is incredible. I mean, all the characters from those shows are great, but, like, specifically Princess Azula is just written so well. You hate her so much, and it's so good. <laughs> After you finish it, you binge Legend of Korra. I'm better than Princess Azula. <laughs> you are better than Princess- You are a much better princess than Princess Azula. Mostly because Princess Azula was an actual psychopath. So, <laughs> there's that. Um, I can feel myself sweating. Um, yeah, what do y'all want to do? You are the best person. Doing the most. You guys want to work on more art? You guys want to do Twitch? Or you guys want to do Jackbox? It's up to you guys. <laughs> Who is your favorite character and why is it the Combustion Man? <laughs> Actually, if I had to pick a favorite character from that character from that show, it would probably be Toph. I love Toph. All the blind jokes are incredible. <laughs> and also Korosami for life. I don't have to focus. I don't have the focus to participate in more than one chat. Oh, that's right. You're doing like. My favorite is you get like those four dudes doing intense martial arts, and all that happens, and a small rock floats slowly over. That is one of my like least favorite slash most favorite scenes in that whole movie. I've only seen like parts of the movie, and I almost kind of want to sit down and watch the movie in its entirety just to laugh at it. But I'm afraid it's gonna be one of those movies that's so cringeworthy bad that I'm not gonna find it funny. You know, like, you know how there's those movies, like, The Room, where you can rip on them while you're watching it, and you're like, oh my god, this is so bad, it's funny. Like, I'm so afraid that Avatar, that the, that the Last Airbender is not gonna be like that. <laughs> but I, oh my god, I want to watch it just to laugh at it. That scene is just the best. But see, Lily, that's why you gotta watch the actual show, because, like, the Star Wars Holiday Special, exactly. Yeah, Lily, that's why you gotta watch the actual, like, cartoon, the, the cartoon that the movie's based on, um, because... The, the bending, the, the, the earth bending and fire bending and all that is incredible. It's so fluid and it's it, everything is so integrated very well and you don't get any of that weird shit where everybody does all these crazy martial arts and then like one rock moves or the dude does a, does a crazy move and then fire moves. Like it's all linked. It's just, oh, it's so good. The real life was so bad and rushed. It's weird because M. Night Shyamalan is such an interesting director, and he has some really artful, good movies. And I don't understand what happened with that one. You know, even some of the really, like, the ones that people call really bad, like, um... Not the Shining. The Shining is my favorite. Um... Was it The Happening? The one, the one where the aliens are allergic to water. That one's actually not bad. It's just not great. There's some good artsy moments in it. Like, if you're somebody who's really into, like, camera work and, and foreshadowing, that's a cool movie. Like, M. Night Shyamalan's not a terrible director, and he has some really strong works, but for some reason, he just could not adapt Avatar The Last Airbender to, to, the, li to the big screen. It was weird. It's arguably one of the good movies, The Sixth Sense. Yeah. That's the one with the kid that can see dead people. Because that movie's incredible. I've seen that a couple of times. Too. I like Lady in the Water. Unbreakable, though. <laughs> yeah, I've heard Unbreakable's not great. <laughs> and yes, the question was art or games. I mean, I, I, to be honest, and I, I, I will play a Jackbox game if there's a strong need to play it, but I'm actually kind of hot and tired, and I'm not sure that I really want to. 
Was Unbreakable great? I heard Unbreakable wasn't that great, but I haven't really seen all of his movies, so... Yeah, I don't... I think I'm maybe a little too tired for, um... Next to Bottle do Pulse. Pulse back to Bottle. I don't know. Comment in chat. Do you want to do games or do you want to do art? Whatever you want. I'm up, I'm up for whatever you guys want to do. I am a little tired, but I will play arts if you guys want to play arts. Otherwise, I will sheep. I will sheep all over the sheep. I do need to grab pictures of your sheep. I'm too tired for either. Yeah, isn't it like 4 o'clock in the morning where you are? <laughs> Okay, here's a question. Um, yeah, I'll just keep working on art. I'm, it'll be the first Jack Saturday where we don't do something else, but like, I'm, I'm kind of tired. So for some reason... That's, um, do them in the middle. Got... Big one. Why doesn't Windows have a key option? If very don't. All right, that's so that's three in the middle, and then the small one and the medium size one. Um, I'm trying to remember their names. Got. Uh, no, I just need these for uh, color. Got. Extra big one. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's all of them. Okay. Alright, so I'm done nerding out about Avatar the Last Airbender. Uh, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's my favorite TV show. And uh, you should do it because it's good and you will love it. At least I hope you will love it. If you don't love it, I guess that's that, you know, you do you. But that's fair if you don't like it. I guys will too if you think. Gaps. These are all of, um, they're all of, uh, plushies slash curros and sheebs. Sheeb family. Yeah, sorry if any of you guys were like kinda kinda tired. The gumdrop up here. Yep. Gumdrop I remember and I remember tortilla. The three in the middle I was a little hesitant on their names, mostly because I haven't decided which one is first. I'm gonna do the other ones first and then see how I wanna balance out the colors. Drop a piece. Absolute unit. <laughs> I like that you described him as a slash her as absolute unit in like big letters. You guys gave me a lot of smaller commissions this time, so I feel like I'm actually like getting through these, and then maybe next week we can tackle all the big ones. Like it feels good to get a couple of these done really fast, you know. I think I still need another whole stream for um, for this one and for Aubrielle's commission, but I don't know. I'm kind of happy. But yeah, bubblegum needs to be in the middle. I think we agreed on that. I was trying to figure out what color their eye co their eyes were, and then I realized that they were all their eyes in a way, or so. The more commissions you get, the less world building you can do. Oh man. The world building though. I gotta draw my murder noodle sometime. I 
think I might go in on the line art and give them like eye color instead of them just being next one. But if it makes you feel any better, I went to school for like ever to be good at art, so you know, I paid out the ass <laughs> for skill. Where's ye old tortilla? Cheap obsession is it over 100 testing stability. But how can you not love the sheep? They're beautiful. Somehow I undid that. No. I'm glad that you guys mostly enjoy the world building as much as I do, because it gives me an opportunity to actually, like, work on my shit. Because <laughs> I don't usually have time to work on it, although I'm probably going to have to go back and, uh... If, if I'm honest, I'm going to have to go and, like, fill out a couple of those pages before the next stream, because it was kind of rough trying to, um... It was kind of rough trying to fill in the sheet while you guys were there. Not because I was, like, anxious about having people watching me, but just because, like, it's it just, it's so much information to try to, like, parse out while people are watching, I guess. Because it really, it's so much information. Like, trying to organize where stuff is going, I'm gonna do all the writing off screen because I'm not good at writing. We're watching me. I think I need to start doing that. The biggest tortilla. Never tortilla. Absolute unit. Tiniest bab. Or her head. Is Tortilla a boy or a girl? I think I asked you that already, but out of me asking the question a second time. Alright, and then the blue one is the second big one. I don't remember what that one's name is. Giant grandma. So it is. Oh, this is grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is an egg. I was doing this on the wrong layer. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but when I'm doing emotes, it doesn't matter because it's small and I only have like, like one layer. But for this kind of thing, it's really helpful to have that bottom base layer so that if I need to turn the colors off, I don't do colors. That should be good. Here's to be in order. Anyways. So Tortilla is the giant grandma. I love that you have names for all of them too. All right, then who was in the, which one's in the middle?
bubble gummies. Alright, which one's bubble gum? Bubble pink one? The all pink one? Oh no, Starbound Fluffalo. Oh my god, they're so great. Oh, look at them, like, eating. So good, stomp, stomp. Blink. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, you guys sent the same link. That's awesome. Read each other's minds. What happened? So fun story, I was drawing sheep at work. I don't think I've drawn this many. Can't tell you what I was drawing the sheep. I know that I was drawing sheep at work also. I'm just drawing a whole bunch. <laughs> I've gotten some good practice with Did um any of you guys see that movie that came out last year about the nativity? It was called The Star. It was really mostly just about the animals. Out. Guys, <laughs> see that movie or hear of it? It was about the donkey that carries um, Mary to Bethlehem or whatever. In that movie, there's a sheep, and her name is Ruth. Uh, Kuro especially, if you have not seen the star, I would look up clips of Ruth the sheep, because she is beautiful. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to bring her up on screen. Thanks, we want to play Stardew. <laughs> There she is. Look how beautiful. Isn't she the most graceful? <laughs> Let me, uh... Oh, Stardew. Let me see. Sheep is terrifying. She's great. If I could get the... Uh... <laughs> well, look how cute she is anyway. You can't hear it. I can't get it. Her little tiny feet. I wish I could get sound. That would be great. But it used to do it. It it used to capture from my um I can see it's picking up sound, but it's not picking up. Well, anyways, she's super cute, and I love her. And you should look up that clip, because it's better with sound. 
anyways. I don't know, she's just, she's goofy and she's got a cute face and I just enjoyed that character. I, I went and saw that. My neighbor's downstairs. Go. Like, sure, you guys are nice to me. This is the other one. Stormy looks so much like Tortilla that... I guess technically this one's a little bit shaggier. And they all have different color schemes, so I can tell them apart that way, but Tortilla and and Stormy specifically, they're like almost the same size. Cause like this one is next to the baby one, so it's cool looking, and then this one's next to a bigger one, so then she doesn't look quite as big. So I keep getting the two of them mixed up, but I'm holding off on the two in the middle, um, just so that I can side. One I want to put on the left. I think I might put the purple one on this side. Like this side. Good. I've also been staring at these references for a couple of days, so like. I've gotten used to seeing them, you know? And obviously, Kuro knows them all because she. They? I already forgot what your pronouns are. Sorry. Try to be good at that. I did send an image at one point of the sheep size scale. Yes, I think you did. There's so many of you guys at this point, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Feel bad about it, but I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, I'm gonna put... I don't like it that way, actually. Yeah. They're pretty much the same size, it doesn't matter which one I decide. Brushes, why are you like... I wish you could lock the brush panels so that you can't slide them around. That would be cool. So, fun story, uh, and by fun story I mean more like fun fact. Uh, I'm really bad with names. I can remember a face anywhere, but I cannot remember the name that goes with it for like forever. Name and to put it with a face. Um, but I have the opposite problem when I'm online. I recognize all of your names, and every time you come in the chat, I know exactly who you are. I remember the last time you were here, so if you've like disappeared for a couple of months, I still remember you, but I cannot remember your guys' pronouns. Like, I I don't know why. I think it's just because your text on a screen. But, like, because like, your names are just names, and I recognize the names, but I have such a hard time with that. A couple of you, it's been, a couple of you it's been brought up a couple times where, like, you DM me and we're like, hey, next time, you know, oh, oh, technically, technically, she is fine, but I prefer they, you know, those kind of things. But, try to remember. <laughs> Does Sheeb mean... I thought you meant sheep is in a sheep dog. <laughs> Could have been. Alas, it was. Was not.
Excuse me, I am your highness. Oh, of course. How could I be so rude? Your name, Princess, leads me to believe that she is correct, though. I don't even know how to handle this, lol. I, I mean, I know you. <laughs> yeah, at least, I think I know you. Bow before me. Okay. I didn't vote for you. <laughs> Gender, sheeb, moob, mood, sheeb, life, picture of gumdrop. Did I tell you guys I found my axolotls on another clip art site? <laughs> and then promptly got them taken down. I don't know what's up with these clip art websites and taking my shit. But I watermarked it. I can't have it. You're calling me what you're calling them whatever from now on? Cool. I'm gonna lighten. I meant to ask you. Did you get it removed? What happened? Oh, yeah. So, um, the first clip art site I found, I, um, I had to contact the, um, the hosting company. I found out who hosts their website, their clip art site. And, um, I sent them a message and was like, hey, you know, um, I see that, you know, this person is using you as their web hosting company, but they have, uh, infringed on my copyright by posting my shit, and can you tell them to take it down? So they did. And they did get it taken down, and then yesterday I went and showed you guys, um, I went and showed you guys the, uh, how to search, how to reverse image search stuff, and I found the axolotl on another free clip art site. Uh, so I did the same thing, found the reverse, you know, went and, went and found, actually, that's a, that might be a good, um, good thing to show you guys on screen it. Uh, is how to look up the hosting company for a uh, website, how to find- it's really easy. You literally just Google search who hosts this website. Like, you search for, you know, hosting company lookup, and it, the, like, they click like the first website. You just type in the URL and it'll tell you who hosts that website. Um, but I found the hosting company for the second one, and luckily it happened to be the same hosting company as the first free clip art site. So I just reopened my ticket and was like, hey guys, so uh, this other website is stealing my shit too now. And that that ticket's still up in the air, but um, that should be solved probably sometime early next week. I'm sure, they, um, I'm sure that they don't do stuff on the week. They might take care of it. Or not tomorrow, uh, Monday. But it's a German company, so they don't do, um, they probably won't have like a special holiday party. So. Ravis is a giant ultra buff 12 foot ultra monster lizard man. I'm sure I've run to play. If I were concerned, Drask are used to worst beasties. The Shyvern and the Drask are, uh. Gibbs characters. I have drawn. <laughs> so that's, that's what happened. Um, I also found somebody on Twitter who had copied the Axie Stack image and just posted it. And I wasn't that worried about it, but I still submitted a copyright complaint anyway, and that got taken down pretty fast, so... I'm not that worried about people, like, using my stuff as avatars or, like, people posting, like, posting it on Twitter. Like, that kind of stuff doesn't bug me, but those free clip art sites bother me because then it makes it seem like that piece of artwork is intended to be used everywhere for free, and it's not, you know? Like, I will never be able to stop people from taking my artwork and reposting. I will never be able to stop people from using my artwork as an avatar. I will never be able to stop people from posting it in forums to show it off. You know, I, I won't be able to stop that. What I do want to prevent is people... I want to prevent people from making money off of it, first of all. I don't want people making money off of the axolotl that I use for my... Um... For my branding. And I also don't want people... Um... 
and by, by having it on a site where it says it's a free clip art, free download, that implies that it is always that, and it isn't that, you know? So it's like... All right, there are your shibs. How do they look? It's the shibs. <laughs> Promise never. I mean, like I said, you guys can use my shit for. I'm actually not making money off of it. I really don't care. Get some highlights off, guys. Vince. Planning on putting the highlights over the eyes. There we go. Yay, pets the axie. How would I steal your art when I can just get my own? You could. Could do that. Okay. So I shall shade them at some point. I will shade them. Maybe on Tuesday we'll work on shading these guys. Um, or maybe on Monday. Um, maybe I'll do like a stream in the middle of the day on Monday. I don't know what my Monday's looking like. I don't have to go to work, so. Um, anyways, uh, so that's them. The sheet. Really drew both of the pieces I linked. Artsy totally didn't draw them. Nope, ne never. Never made art for you. I don't know where anybody got that idea that I've ever made art for Riarka. I've definitely never, ever ever made art for Riarkra. That's never happened. No, it doesn't. Are the big pieces still daunting? Um, it's not so much that they're daunting, it's that, um, it's 11-11 here, so, you know, I don't have time to get into it. Maybe I'll do, um... Oh, is it not my- wait, oh, it's- it's my old watermark, I think. Yeah, that's my old watermark. Yeah, Chaos. My my real name is Katie. That's my old. That's my old handle. When I was in college, we were doing um like social media courses, like how to brand your your artwork and like how to set up a, like we had to make logos and they showed us how to set up different social media accounts and stuff. Um, but it and and at the time. They were really encouraging us to use our own real names, so I started out online using Kosika as my handle on everything, posting all my artwork with with my real name, and I never really felt like me. If that if that, that sounds weird to say, because it's me, it's my name, but using my name didn't really fit my personality. Like my roommate, she had a very serious art style, and she was you know a serious, she was an amazing painter, so using her real name on everything made sense because it was like a fine artist making artwork and putting their real name on it, you know. But, like, for a cartoony style like what I was doing, it just doesn't it just didn't feel like it just didn't feel yeah, I still use KO as my water as my uh, signature watermark. Yep. I still use the KO. I was thinking about making, like, a little axolotl, but I do still use KO and I just put the number next to it. Um, I have to redo my signature brush though because it's fucked up but yeah so like i used my full name as my handle on a lot of websites for a long time and then one day like after i got out of college i was really depressed and i was just having a really hard time not being in college anymore and i one of the first things i did was i rebranded myself I, I made myself the axolotl logo i changed my name to the artsy axolotl i i basically rebranded everything and it made me feel so much better about me and my presentation on the internet. I thought it was a lot cuter. I thought it fit my personality a lot better to have like a an alias type handle, but because I used to use my real name, which is Katie Osika, I never I, I don't I'm not worried like if I send you guys an invoice for something and it has my real name on it because I'm totally open about it. I used to use it as my online handle. Like it's on my website. You know, it's if if a if an employer wants to hire me, I need to have my real name out there. So I'm not worried about my I'm not worried about my name being out there, but 
yeah. So that's that's yeah. That, that used to be KOC used to be my signature because that used to be my online handle, and then I decided to change it. Riarco wouldn't call me Axie for a long time. <laughs> Riarco still wanted to call me KOC. I think you still do sometimes. I think you do still call me. I think you do still call me by my by my old handles sometimes still. All right, let me grab Aubriel's panda. I'll just check, check. Boston. Then I think I'll call that a night. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna color Aubriel's real quick, and I think that'll be. I think that'll be it. Um, maybe we can do some games or something tomorrow. You know, make up for Stack Saturday being a little cut a little short. Um, so not having done games tonight. Um, maybe we'll tomorrow. Although I'm gonna be at a party tomorrow, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You're not used to it. I wa someday I want to trademark, like officially trademark the artsy axolotl, but it's kind of expensive, so I'm not like, I'm not like super into it. <laughs> it's not like a priority at the moment. I guess I have, uh, you know, I don't even have like official copyrights on anything. Also, Lily, I'm surprised you're still here. You're probably exhausted. Working on stuff for you for a long time, though, Riarga. I mean, 2015, that was a while ago. Can't be bothered to sleep. I always want. I am in a constant state of wanting. Goes back before 2015. Yeah, I think the oldest thing I have. Twenty fourteen was the oldest. February twenty eighth, twenty fourteen is the at eleven yeah, they're almost noon is the earliest upload I've got. Yeah, I think so. And I think I went back and edited. That's the that's the oldest one I have. Oh, I lied. That one. That's the one. I, I didn't think the Mirla one was the right one. Yeah. Um. That's the that's the first thing I drew for you. Pretty sure. Oh my god, my cat's like, it's it's 11 o'clock, why are we still doing the thing? Get off. <laughs> Curiosity, what is the old thing in the folder? Oh, this friend wanted a, uh, wanted a con badge of her character. That's the oldest. Here. I could probably go back and find you guys older shit, but... became a ribbon princess after that. Everyone draws her with huge bows and ribbons. Yes. I've influenced that character's entire design by accident. Actually, if you guys want to see really old art of mine... Lay on my lap. 
folders in there. Folders in there. Never mind. I don't have it. Uh, it was a drawing of my Cloud Aisha from Neopets, and I had done it in M. <laughs> but it had, I had like an old version and a new version uh, in it. Again, chunk. Anyways, it's. I think it's on my like. Probably on my. Uh, that's probably the oldest piece of artwork I have access. To. All my other old artwork is like lost on a phone bucket somewhere. <laughs> back and look at your old artwork and just kind of see like, how far how far it's come really time for sleep now yes go sleep go do your sleep it's almost time for me to went out raiding it was like a hundred it was good that you could hang out a little bit though have a good night Keep well. I think I'll work on your stuff on um, today, maybe, or if I work on art tomorrow during the day, or on Monday during the day. I don't, I don't really know what my plan is for Monday. I'm gonna kind of play it by ear, but um, yeah, I'll probably work on your guys' stuff. You no know, next stream next art stream. I do need to get those big, bigger ones done, so. How long to the end of the stream? Uh, probably just, maybe, I don't know, maybe like that side up. Um, it depends on how long this takes me to do, to be honest. Definitely need to start going to bed soon, though. She gets like this when she Usually because I'm done streaming by now, so like on the weekends, she doesn't understand why I'm still sitting. She doesn't understand why I'm still sitting in my office with my headphones on, not paying attention to her. She gets really weird during our movie night. Kind of hard to corral her when I see she thinks it's time for bed. Luckily, Aubrielle's character does a lot of colors. Very simple colors. Also, thanks for the stream. Yeah, no problem. Uh, catch you guys later. Um, I'm probably gonna be at a party tomorrow night, so and I also. Uh, so probably so no stream tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, but uh, maybe we'll do something Monday during the day. I I'll I'll see how Monday goes because I don't have to work. Maybe we could during the day. Uh, but definitely Okami on Monday. 
Um. Wanna not touch the board while I'm working? Thanks. Jay is like, come on, hurry up. It's time to go to bed. Wing. <laughs> Not gonna be too much longer. You know, we're, we're here. I got the time. I'm almost done. And if I could get like to a coloring stage on all of these, that would be fantastic. Because then I can just focus on the big commissions next week, and that's like one I don't worry about. It helps when I can focus on just like one. You know. And if I have a lot of commissions that are like similar size, you know, like similar complexity, it's easy for me to just be oh, we'll just order. Backgrounds slow things down a little bit, which is why they cost more. Um, that's the only reason I'm taking time getting I'd rather just have like a whole week just to just work on those and not be on changing constantly. Bigger stuff I like to put a little bit. Extra them otherwise they used to do I always need the, the big I love getting bigger commissions because then I it's like okay now you actually have to do real artwork go I'm also running out of stuff to talk about because we've already had our conversation on today, and I've the most excited thing that happened to me today was Pokemon, so. Oh, Vash is still lurking. Doing the lurk. Oh, Riel's still lurking. You leave. And then we are good to go. And then, yeah, the hating, shadowing. Somewhere in there, I word. I think. I think there was a word in that. Yes, sounds somewhere.
shoulder. Chuck a blend on it for tonight, and we'll come back to it. Shading and highlighting and right now there's Aubrielle's. Guys, I'm actually like getting caught up on commissions for once, and I'm not letting them go till the end of the month. Beautiful. Okay, so uh yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna go to bed. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Thanks for letting me just you know work on artwork for a while. I know uh I know you guys really enjoy playing games on the stream, and I enjoy it too, but it was kinda nice to just after a very long week, it was nice to just relax and chat and just do this and not have to worry about commentating a game. So, you know, thank you for that. I appreciate it. You guys are, you guys are the best. You understand my pain. You let me live. <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of you are getting tired, but let's uh, let's go bother Ando. Uh, just because I'd like to get you guys to Ando. Um... Get a lot of love here, so I'm gonna hit it on the Discord. Yeah, do it. Yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. You're all super cool uh, and all the best, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day or a good rest of your night or a good rest of your morning or whatever the heck's going on. I will see you guys maybe... Uh, definitely Monday for Okami. Um, uh, but I'll see you guys in the Discord also. See you guys later. Bye.